Good morning, friends. Today I am going to get it all done and hopefully you can get things done that you need to get done today as well. So I made my list. We've had our breakfast already of some delicious filling oatmeal with some add-ins. Bed's been made. A load of laundry's been started. So just the typical household things have gotten done. I'm dressed and ready for the day. I have some outdoor projects to take care of. So um, it's a little chilly spring day, but it'll be hopefully a good day to plant some sweet potato slips I had ordered that finally arrived and it's just been so muddy and rainy here that I haven't been able to get in the garden. They need to weed, but it's hard to weed when it's so muddy because everything just comes out clumpy. I need to plant a dogwood tree and then just do some indoor things like prep supper, which is a typical um, homemaking uh, task to do as well, but and then I need to pay a few bills edit a video, so just some indoor things, outdoor things, things that need to get done. So I hope you can get things done as well while I work on getting my tasks done today. So let's get started with the morning. Let's see if I should go outside first or take care of my indoor things first. So let's get going. So I think garden is going to have to wait. As you can just tell, it is so, it's so muddy but so grassy and weedy. This is a gardener's worst enemy is weeds and lots of rain because then you can't hoe it very well. So hopefully I can get to that later this afternoon when it starts to dry out a little bit. Alright, so I got my sweet potato slips right here and I'm going to go figure out if it's a decent spot to plant them. So they look a little wilty and peaked but supposedly it's okay that they look that way because they're hardy plants. So let's go get planting. <laughs> about 11 30 already and my husband actually was so thoughtful he had a meeting up in our local city so he did a walmart pickup and shopped at aldi for me so i was putting all our groceries away um you can see i have a ton of bananas in the back we go through bananas so fast and then i freeze whatever ripens really fast so um, i'm taking a break from the gardening but it's nice to get half of that done i'm going to prep our supper it's a wednesday so wednesday night is always our breakfast food night so i'm going to make a french toast bake super simple i needed to also get some milk out of the fridge so i could put in another milk and um have space for that and a lot of other things so i love getting fresh groceries and filling up the fridge but it has gotten expensive that is for sure so i've been shopping the sales and we have nadia's my littlest um first birthday party this weekend so you have to buy more when you have a company coming but i'm gonna put the rest of the groceries away and make that breakfast bake I 
thought I might just show you a few of the things I got. I already put most of it away, but see this shelf is really full. Our Farm Fresh Egg provider, we didn't, weren't able to meet up with them, so we had to get some eggs and heavy cream because we're gonna make homemade ice cream for um, the party. And then strawberries are $1.89 right now at Aldi, so I had my husband pick up five because that's really affordable and it's strawberry rhubarb season, so I'm gonna make some jam and I can freeze some. Um, extra milk to do some baking. I have mentioned before I do raw milk now. We have a source for that. Just like some hummus from Walmart for the party. I made some homemade yogurt myself in my last video actually, but I did buy some more yogurt. A couple cauliflowers, um, some green grapes for the party, some avocados, and then I filled my veggie drawer with another cauliflower, like some tomatoes. Peppers at Aldi right now are on sale. Cucumbers, some carrots. So that'll be really handy. Like a veggie tray, fruit tray for the party is what I'm gonna do. And then I had to get some fun balloons. I couldn't pass those up. They're like 97 cents. Cute little birthday napkins and just some white plates. I don't quite know what I'm gonna do for cake and I'm gonna make uh, my daughter a healthy smash cake because we haven't had her have sugar yet. Um, but like powdered sugar to make frosting for other people. Um, maybe a box cake mix. I usually like to do non-box cake mixes. There's this really good Oreo cupcake recipe I saw, so I just ordered the great value ones because Oreos are so expensive when they're the actual Oreo brand. So a lot of off-brand things I'm totally okay getting. I also just got two big things of applesauce from Aldi and a bag of sweet potatoes from Walmart because those are good healthy foods for my little one and this giant watermelon for the party as well. Oh, some non-food thing I got. These are from Aldi. They're like $3.50 or something from Walmart. They're like five for I think 18. So this or five fifty for 18. So this is a little better. It does have a lavender scent. Not a huge fan of that, but if you watch my videos, you know I do swiffering a lot. So I'm gonna just clean all this stuff up. Oh, also got a new pepper grinder. And put it away, and that was not on my list to get it all done, but that is okay. I think with getting things done through the day, we need to have time for adjustments, because I knew he was coming home with groceries and I would have to take time to put those away. He ate lunch here, so we talked for a while. So just things to adjust on your list and it's okay not to get everything done. Yes, I have quite an extensive list of things I'd like to get done, but it doesn't mean it's all gonna get done. So I'm just gonna pack all this stuff away, make that supper, breakfast, bake, and then go back out to the garden. garden is so satisfying so now that it's nice and sunnier in the afternoon here it'll dry out the weeds will dry out things will be able to grow and thrive and I'm looking forward to this garden season it's nice to have that done
only three o'clock and I think pretty much everything on my list is done after getting the laundry put away in my girls' room. I got that checked off the list. The only thing left on my list right now is to oil our butcher block countertops and I won't do that till after supper is done so I can clear everything off and because it just needs to sit for a while after. But I need to write a birthday note to a dear, dear friend and just have a little time sitting and relaxing and enjoy some latte that I have left as well. So I'm gonna continue filming a little bit to see what else I get done for today, bake that supper for you. But it has been a very productive day here with what I got done. So I'm really enjoying having a productive day. That is not always the case every day. Let's just keep enjoying today and whatever else it brings. So I'm gonna be making this recipe here. I'm gonna cut it in half because it calls for a lot of bananas that I don't have ripe yet. And you saw how many bananas I had that weren't ripe. But I have three ripe bananas. So I'm gonna cut it in half and make an eight by eight pan. So we're gonna see how this goes. I don't have vegan peanut butter cups. I don't have peanut butter cups in general. So I'm gonna just leave that out and we'll see how it goes. But it looks delicious. So we're gonna test it out. <laughs> 